Yahoo! -hoo! Welcome, my beautiful brothers and sisters, to the Aquarian Adepts. My platform, our platform to become your spiritual server. And welcome to your daily reading for today, Monday, September the 10th of 2018. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. I know it's a little bit late. I mean, getting this video out, most of you are probably at work or getting your break soon, or at least at the time I'm recording this. By the time I upload this, you might be going back into work. But I still wanted to make this video because I believe that the energies today are very powerful. And the cards I drew, as you can see, sponsored the powerful energies of today as well. And I want to just go ahead and also note that I'm going to be finishing up the horoscopes for the 12 signs today. I still have Sagittarius, Aquarius, Arisus, and Geminius. So those will be coming out later on today, and then we will get on to the rest of the week. I have some fun videos to bring you all. But anyways, let's hop into the energies, hop into the cards of today, and see what is happening and what energies you have to work with today. Well, the cards that we have are the Queen of Cups and the Hermit, and these cards are sponsored by the Sacred Geometry card of Consciousness, which reads... The frequency of consciousness supports our ability to focus our attention on all the multi-dimensional aspects that show up so that we can include them in our reality. I find that these two cards, backed by consciousness, is very powerful because I really do feel like today is a day of growing up. <laughs> We're coming off the new moon phase, and today the moon does slip into Libra. We also have moon, the moon trining over to Mars right before it slips into Libra. Um, right before um, the moon slips into Libra. And then, of course, later on in the evening, we also have Mars slipping into Aquarius, which is a pretty big deal, right? You know, Mars has been in shadow for a while, and now it's finally getting back into Aquarius. So it's finally wanting to look towards the future, kind of break out of cycles, kind of go forth and really just I want what I want now that's kind of what Mars is going to be like when it hits Aquarius but it's still in shadow so it's not like it's a, like a lot of the actions that you make right now are still very much so karmic they still are very much so tied to your spiritual journey not that um, actions that you take after the shadow period aren't but these actions are, are particular it's like you're kind of wrapping up um, old things and old um, contracts that you need to have. But today, like I said, it's sort of this day of growing up. And the reason why I say that is because we're coming off this very powerful new moon in Virgo, which is giving us a glimpse into the future of what's possible, how our day-to-day -day reality can actually reflect our belief in magic and reflect our belief in ourself that we really can live a daily life that's full of joy, excitement, wonder, you know, and purpose. But, you know, with the moon slipping into Libra and Mars moving into Aquarius, this is going to create an interesting aspect simply because, you know, the moon's going to be looking for peace and harmony, but Mars is really going to be focused on, even though it's in Aquarius, which is the sign of the humanitarian, it's still going to be kind of focused on, you know, it's my way or the highway. Know, and it's going to be, you know, it's in Aquarius energy, which is a fixed, which is fixed air. So this can bring up some stubborn attitudes amongst people. But with the Moon and Libra, we're still going to be looking for peace and harmony. It's like, okay, how can we look at this from all different angles? How can we look at the situation and our experience from different points of view? And it's going to be also interesting because we do have Venus, which has just slipped in to Scorpio making a King Kunks over to Chiron Retrograde at zero degrees. Chiron Retrograde is in Aries. It's the awkward stare from across the room, and since they're both at zero, it's kind of this void point where really anything is possible. But this King Kunks is, you also have Venus wanting to open up and wanting to explore a thing. Venus in Scorpio, even though it's canically and traditionally debilitated here, Venus and Scorpio really wants to dive into these passions more so, and it's, it really, Venus will like really, just really wants to get what it wants when it's in Scorpio. Um, 
it can be very passionate, it can be very um, sensual. But this King Kong's over to Chiron, this is going to bring up, of course, our personality, our ego, and how we have wounds as it relates to these areas, how we really view ourselves, how we, you know, the actions that we have taken in our behaviors, whether or not they substantiate whatever luxuries that Venus is wanting to open up to while it's in Scorpio, whatever deeper, and I would even say quote-unquote darker passions and wants, although they don't have to, albeit be dark, and dark doesn't necessarily have to be bad, but that's where Venus is wanting to explore, especially considering the fact that Jupiter is in Scorpio, opening up this channel. But today is a day of emotional kind of growing up, because with the Queen of Cups, which represents the Scorpionic energy, we want to kind of put the focus there. And then, when you have the Hermit, it's saying that, yes, we each have our own individual journey. And yes, there are times where you are going to feel, quite frankly, alone. But today is a day about fostering that empathy for each other. Today is a day about having compassion for yourself and for others. And, you know, if you get into squabbles or misunderstandings or miscommunications with people today, it's not really the day to really throw temper tantrums. It's not really the day to try and be like, it's going to be my way or the highway. You can peacefully disagree and go about your own way. And the beautiful thing about this is that we do have, like I said, the card of consciousness backing this up, sponsoring this vibration, sponsoring this day. And this is really speaking to how we are all connected, because if you look at this card, it's showing the flower of life. And each and every one of us is like a bubble in that flower of life. And these bubbles can kind of interlock and, you know, kind of intercept each other and you know, your orb of influence might, some people have really large orbs of influence, some people have smaller orbs of influence, but there's no doubt that we all have some sort of effect on each other. So we have to remember the multi-dimensional reality of really just this existence itself. If you think of the dimension, think of yourself as a dimension, and then think about how many people are here on this planet and then think about all the beings here that's a lot of freaking dimensions if you think about it that way and i know people probably don't normally think of it in that way but that's kind of what this card is speaking to it's saying that we are all unique in our experience we are all unique in our journey and there are certain people that you know you'll be on the journey with this person for a day some people a week some people a month some people a year five years ten years fifty years some people you have been on this journey with for lifetimes, and um, that's okay. Today's really a day about, especially with the moon slipping into Libra, where emotions might be triggered and our egos might be triggered. We may, we may, want, we may want to break out, we may want to kind of just rebel against the norm, we may want to just, ah, I just need it now. There's a lot of that energy, but we need some emotional discernment today. We need to, you know, be like the hermit as well and go into our quiet space, remind ourselves to find ourselves. And we will find ourselves moving forward in a very powerful way. This is coming off this new moon. We are really looking to manifest a beautiful day-to-day -day reality that is more in line with our higher self, that's more in line with our spiritual purpose. And if you utilize today to the best of your ability, you will definitely find just how magical this whole week will be and just how powerful the two weeks will be between this new moon in Virgo and the full moon in Aries coming up towards the end of the month. That is it for your reading, beloved. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you would like a personal reading with me, beloved, I am running a sale on all of my services for the month of September. To utilize that sale, 25% off. You can follow the link in the description below to theaquarianadepths.com. And always remember, my beautiful brothers and sisters, to keep moving forward, to stay focused, and... Yahoo! -hoo! Smile often. <laughs>